No, drivers, only use the drop-off slider bar if your customer's paying with a credit card and crossing the bridge and you need to tack on a bridge toll. Now, if they're paying with cash, you do not need to use this drop-off slider bar right here. So if your passenger's crossing a bridge toll and they're using a credit card to pay, then you use this drop-off to add on to the extra, the bridge tolls and whatever meter and a half you need to add. But if your passenger's... Um, you know, paying with a credit card and they're, they didn't leave the city, you didn't cross any bridge tolls, you don't need to use drop-off. They'll just go ahead and swipe their credit card in the back and that's it. That's it. Everything's done. So the only time you use the drop-off bar is if you're leaving the city, you need to add on a bridge toll or a meter and a half and they're paying with a credit card because that's it only makes sense if you're, you know, doing all this so they can swipe their credit card in the back but if they're not paying with a credit card you don't need to use all this okay just tell them um, the fare is 40 with a six dollar bridge toll so that would be 46 if they're paying with you with cash okay the only time you use this is if they're crossing a bridge you need to add on the bridge toll fees and they're using a credit card to swipe all right so Here's the section that you can actually hit um, extras. Let's say if it's a meter and a half, you tack on whatever extra. So in this case, it wasn't a meter and a half. Let's say I drop off in the East Bay or North Bay, and then you need to hit the bridge toll. So you come down to bridge toll right here. Let's say I cross the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, or you know it's probably eight twenty. Uh, what seven bucks or eight twenty five? Let's do eight dollars, and you go ahead and hit next. There you go. The $8 shows up right there. Hit the meter off. There you go. So when they select the payment method in the back and then everything's going to be tacked on for the total. So when you're done with this, and again, make sure they tell your customer to hit print receipt after authorizing the payment. And you'll see a little uh, notification on your screen says payment authorized successful. If you don't see that, you make sure that happens and you get authorized. Otherwise, their card is declined or some kind of signal problems. You, the card didn't go through. Make sure you see payment successfully authorized on the front of your screen right here. So when you see that, you tell the customer, can you please touch print receipt? So you'll have two receipts, all right? So after when you're all done with this, you just go ahead and hit the meter off again. So that's uh, for using the credit card with extra charges for bridge tolls. Otherwise, you just go ahead and hit time off. Don't even bother using drop off, sliding drop off. The only time you use drop off is when there's bridge tolls or meter and a half tacked on onto the meter.